um, SPACs are fascinating, right? Like, I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but I think there were order of magnitude, there were about 300 IPOs in the US in 2019, let's say, total mm -hmm. IPOs. And in February of this year, there were 100 SPAC IPOs. In March of this year, there were over 100 SPAC IPOs. So just like the, the landscape. And then April dro dropped off a cliff. I think there were like 10 SPAC IPOs. Um, but I mean, it's just such a fascinating opportunity. It's an opportunity for companies that are um, sort of of shift size. Let's say shifts about a billion dollar company. I think you mentioned that, something like that. Um, it's not a $5 billion company. It's not a $10 billion company, which it used to be that, you know, the bankers and everyone else would, the markets were really there to take Airbnb public or something, right? It, the, the big companies and you had to wait longer. Um, and I think it's just going to have fascinating effects on, and so now companies that are billion dollar companies can go public via SPAC. Um, and it's, it'll have all sorts of effects for our industry, the venture industry, right? I'm a seed stage investor. And mm -hmm. one, I think it means my portfolio companies will have opportunities to go public and we'll have opportunities for liquidity. But it also means, I mean, one interesting thing, I think and it's all early days, but there are all these SPACs with all this capital now. So, um, or companies that have just done this reverse merger that are now public companies, they have a lot of money um, and they've got really uh, intense growth projections that they've promised to their investors. And I, I think that'll probably lead to a lot more um, ac acquisitions. And so I, I think while it's mostly po uh, positive that our companies can get liquidity, I also think, you know, maybe from a sort of weird VC lens, you know, there might be a lot more exits in the $150 million exit because, or $100 million exits because they're the companies that have a lot of cash on their balance sheet. So it remains to be seen, but um, it, it's a big deal. 